Hello my dear friends, uh, today I want to focus on uh, technical details so I will entertain you I hope uh, talking about uh, nibs and especially the stipula nibs the in-house stipula nibs 18 and 14 karat flex nib that they make in-house and of course I will show you some of them uh, using my uh, exclusive Corsani collection uh, Etruria faceted celluloid we have three colors but we're going to show you two uh, of those here we have the green black Grand Sasso and the classic iconic stipula amber celluloid the main focus of this video will be to show you the differences among extra fine ultra fine in 18 and 14 carats but not only this the differences that there are among the ebonite feeder and the abs feeder which is available on this collection so comparing two exact same sizes with different feeders it will be quite clearly how the feeder uh, influences the uh, the performance of the writing and uh, finally there will be also a comparison with uh, a special nib we have been uh, uh, made for us with buck uh, engraved with Corsani it's a classic 14 karat buck nib uh, fitted with the ABS feeder from uh, uh, Stipula so we will have we will uh, try different kind of uh, of nibs with different kind of uh, feeders i think, I think it, it will be quite interesting to uh, look at this comparison so let's start with the first one we have this nice green celluloid And this is our first nib. It's a four. It's a fourteen carat, extra fine nib, in house made by Stipula with ABS feeder. Let's dip it and have it a go. Stipula fourteen carat solid gold nib flex with ABS feeder without any pressure. It's a real extra fine, quite smooth, I have to tell you. When I use it as a flex with the ABS feeder, it has a very good uh, expressive tones because uh, you can see uh, now it's dried out to ink. Nice. I can really have a better uh, control over the flex the flex pressure and a better I believe uh, distance in the width of the flex calligraphy stroke see and the, when I release the pressure it becomes thinner so I have a better better outcome of the of the uh, flexible nib in the classic eight now okay it's dried out and let's have an immediate comparison 
using the Ember one, which is a beautiful celluloid, full of charm, Bordeaux and brown nuances. And let's try this same extra fine but this one this time we have an 18 carat with ABS feeder all made in house by stipula And let's try. I think it's immediately... You can immediately perceive how wetter is the sign typical of an ebonite feeder so my uh, calligraphy flare it's less visible because it's really hard to get a great distance in the strokes among the pressure and when I release it you have to be very skilled as I am not to do this with the with this nib but otherwise it's Flawlessly smooth. Definitely even more than the previous one because, uh, of course, the the flow is uh, more generous, and so uh, the tip of the point receive more ink, which makes it very smooth, even if it's an extra fine. Good. Then. Let's try the 18 carat ultra fine on the grass and sasso once once again and the ABS feeder. Here you can see how dry is the writing. It's a, it's an ultra fine, ultra fine nib. It's clearly visible in the because it's a, it's not a, a huge flow. It's quite dry. But on the other hand, if you want to use it on a, for the calligraphy purposes, you can see how better it is from my point of view with the expressive strokes of a calligraphy. flexible uh, flexible strokes flexible kind of writing uh, if you are skilled to do it I'm pretty sure that this will be the right choice for you even a kind of copper plate you could do with the snap but you have to be you have to be, uh, you have to um, have a very good hand then let's try our personal Bach classic 14 carat block Bach nib with the engraving of Stilo Graf Corsani with the ABS feeder. Here we have, of course, to stick to the ABS feeder because uh, the Ebonite feeder, the Stipula, has produced, uh, has been made specifically for the nib. So I can't apply this to the to the Bach nib. But anyway, here we have 
if you wished. Another kind of writing, this is the classic Classic extra fine from Bach. In this case, I believe that the ABS feeder is the perfect choice because otherwise it would be a very wet and uh, and too generous flow on a nib like this that you probably already know that Bach is extremely smooth, but uh, it's bouncier than uh, than a Jovo, and so when I press, we have we have uh, a softness that makes the ink uh, flowing even more. So on a next to fine like this, I believe the ABS is the perfect choice. If you want to maintain an extra fine. feeling I'm just trying to perceive how smooth it is it's a classic smooth smoothness of uh, Bach incredibly beautiful and now the final test we have once again in this case an 18 carat solid gold nib with Ebonite feeder and here we have the perfect nib, I believe, for whoever is looking for a smooth, wet, uh, enjoyable. You even don't see, don't uh, feel the paper uh, below below the tipping of, of the of the nib. It's, it could be abroad from any other company, but if you like uh, wide strokes and a smooth riding experience, this is amazingly good. Wow. Yeah, I believe I have showed you how there is a huge variety in this uh, selection of nibs and I have just compared the, the more fines, the extra fines basically, uh, which of course are my favorite. So I, uh, you can have a better idea whenever you should uh, think of uh, buying one of those pens or a stipula pen. I, I think I have showed you uh, which kind of uh, writing experience you could achieve using these wonderful nibs and even if you wish our uh, buck nib with the engraving of Corsani it's really nice especially the extra fine so see you later to the next time I hope uh, you will enjoy this video and next time bye